Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to speak about all possible survey question types, so stay tuned. If you are here, then you probably know what surveys are and you might also know that they can be used for various reasons. And one of them is to get to your customer to know what they expect from you, from your brand and to get feedback. And in order to create a survey that fits your brand, you have to know it inside out. I mean, it's a rule to make something good, you have to know it inside out, right? And the key thing is questions, because questions are a major part of surveys. So today I will help you to explore the question types and I might even give you some tips and tricks on how and when to use them. Question type is multiple choice question. Multiple choice questions are very common and you might even be familiar with them. There are two types of multiple choice questions. The first one is single answer multiple choice question where the user is limited with only one answer and the second type is multiple answer multiple choice question where they can check more than one boxes several boxes. So that's it about multiple choice questions. So the next type is rating scale questions. Rating scale questions are the ones which try to get your respondents, your users attitude towards something. It can be a product, service or whatever. And you try to know whether they agree or disagree, like or dislike something. Rating scale questions are of numerical nature. You can go from 1 up to 100, but there are uh, some researches that show that rating scale questions are more effective when they range between 1 to 5 or 1 to 7. And also the great thing about these uh, question types is that they collect qualitative and accurate data. Okay, so, Likert scale questions. Likert scale questions are pretty similar to the previous one, which was rating scale questions, right? And the, they both try to know more about your respondent's attitude. However, the difference is that Likert scale questions are of no numerical order and these are the well-known do you agree or disagree questions where the answer ranges from strongly agree to strongly disagree or whatever your question is. So our next question type is matrix scale question. I am really excited about this one because I like matrix scale questions a lot as the principle of it is to make several questions by one go. I mean it's really easy to make. You can just start and end question here with just one question type. However, as anything, matrix scale questions also have drawbacks which is that when you, you, when you make too many rows, it can get confusing to answer, especially for mobile users. So it is not very mobile friendly to say, and just try to not overuse it. Just be creative, make fun questions, but do not overuse. So we came to drop-down questions. Drop-down questions are like scrollable options of single answer multiple choice questions. The thing is that if your multiple choice question contains more than five answers, it is going to take way too much space. And to save up your space, you can just use drop-down questions and the drawback with this one is that sometimes respondents, the form fillers, miss it. But anyways, it is a great way to fit, 
too many answers. Open-ended questions. Open-ended questions are the ones which require written answer. And they might be more accurate because there are no preset answers and no chance that the user simply wouldn't have the answer to select as they are free to express their thoughts. However, if you want to get a quick data analysis, these types are not the best. Also, they are time consuming and your form filler might simply not have the time to uh, write down their thoughts. So use them when they are really necessary or at least don't make them required in your question here. So our seventh question types are demographic questions. I call these question types real stalkers because they help you to get insight about your target audience starting from their income level ending with relationship status and take notes they are especially powerful at collecting data next type in our list is ranking scale questions be attentive, it's ranking, not rating, and ranking scale questions shares the same idea with Likert and rating scale questions because they all try to get your respondent's attitude. However, the difference with ranking scale questions is that they try to get opinions on several statements. So you can put several statements in rows in one question. However, remember the matrix drawback and do not overuse it. The ninth question type is image choice questions. These are questions based on images. And the thing we did is that it's fun to make and also it can be not only a matter of discussion but also a way to distract your respondent from your questionnaire for a minute or two. So click map questions. This sounds fun, however, it can be a little confusing. The thing with it is that you can turn your website page or product to a whole map and ask your respondents to, for example, click on the page or on the product that they appreciate the most. And it also makes a great location data analysis. So you can just use it for getting your respondents locations. File upload question types. I, I consider it to be more of a tool than a question because this is a tool that helps you to uh, get your respondent CVs, for example, or to get files, PDF files, uh, docs, or PNG files. And it is easy to use and there is not much to say about it because when it is necessary to use it, you will probably know it. The next type is slider question. So slider question is the same as uh, rating scale questions, numerical scale questions, but the difference is that you need to slide, drag the slider in order to give your answer. It is super mobile friendly as well, so it would be always nice to use a slider question in your questionnaire if necessary. Benchmarkable questions. This sounds really professional and also confusing. And they are not commonly used question types. Um, these question types are mostly used for comparison, for elections, for voting. Governments mostly use these question types because they collect the most accurate data of all the mentioned. 
Now that we have gone through all the survey question types, you must do your own research to understand which of these types fit you and your brand and your product and your survey the most because using them all together, I don't think that would be a great option. For example, overflowing your questionnaire with open-ended ones can be very time-consuming. However, not giving your respondent a way to express their ideas and thoughts might not get you accurate results. Overflowing with image choice questions is not mobile friendly but one or two can be a great distraction so do not forget about balance and you will 100% succeed also to know more about the usage of all these question types read our articles do not forget to subscribe hit your notification bell see you soon bye